Have you seen the shocking footage of the recent tornado that ripped through Oklahoma? It left a trail of destruction and many people are struggling to recover. Oklahoma is no stranger to severe weather. While tornadoes are a fact of life in this part of the country, this outbreak was particularly strong. The recent EF4 tornado blasted through Barnsdall and Bartlesville, Oklahoma on May 6, 2024. Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the devastating tornado that struck Oklahoma in the United States. In this video, we're going to explore everything you need to know about Oklahoma tornadoes, from how they form to staying safe during an outbreak. We'll also see the incredible community spirit that emerges after these devastating events. Before we get to today's video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay tuned for other interesting videos. What are tornadoes? Tornadoes are nature's fury on display. These rotating columns of air form within thunderstorm and can reach speeds exceeding 300 miles per hour, causing devastating damage. The destructive strength that they possess is belied by their distinctive funnel shape, which is composed of a black twisting appendage that extends from the clouds. Such winds cause buildings to be ripped apart, cars to be thrown around, and ordinary objects to be transformed into lethal projectiles. Tornadoes can strike anywhere, anytime. They've been documented in all 50 states of the USA, a testament to their unpredictable nature. It is crucial to understand their immense range of destructive capabilities. The Enhanced Fujita Scale, also known as the EF Scale, categorizes tornadoes based on their wind speeds and potential for destruction, with EF5 being the most intense. Here's a breakdown of the EF Scale. EF0, this is a weak tornado with wind speed between 65 to 85 miles per hour. This may cause minor damage, such as tree branch damage, peeling of paint from siding, or slight roof damage. EF1. This is a moderate tornado with wind speed between 86 to 110 miles per hour. This can cause moderate damage, such as uprooted trees, damage to mobile homes, and broken windows in sturdy buildings. EF2. Such tornadoes with wind speed between 111 to 135 miles per hour can cause significant damage, destroy some outbuildings, and overturn large vehicles. EF3 Severe tornado with winds between 136 to 165 miles per hour may damage entire houses to lose roofs and walls, destroy mobile homes, and debilitate or overturn large trees. EF4 EF4 represents devastating tornado with a wind speed of 166 to 200 miles per hour. This can be devastating and can level well-structured homes, debilitate or remove large trees, and toss vehicles long distances. EF5 This is an incredible tornado with winds over 200 miles per hour. Such tornadoes can completely demolish well-constructed buildings, leave a path of total destruction, and create flying debris exceeding 300 miles per hour. Geographical Background Why is Oklahoma prone to tornadoes? Oklahoma sits smack dab in the middle of what's known as Tornado Alley, a region in the central United States. This region encompasses parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Texas, and South Dakota. The frequency of these powerful twisters is higher in this region than any other place in the country. There's a unique combination of factors that contributes to this high frequency of tornadoes. Warm, moist air. Warm, humid air surged northward from the Gulf of Mexico carrying with them moisture that supports the development of strong thunderstorms. This moisture mixes with cooler air masses from the north, creating instability in the atmosphere, a prime ingredient for tornado formation. Strong winds aloft. High altitude winds provide the lift and shear needed to twist the rising air into a tornado. Flat terrain. The absence of mountains allows these storms to develop and travel long distances with minimal disruption. A land shaped by wind, Oklahoma's history with tornadoes. Oklahoma and tornadoes are intertwined. For centuries, these powerful twisters have carved a path through the state's landscape, shaping its history and leaving an undeniable mark. One of the most infamous tornadoes struck Snyder in 1905 and another one in 1947, devastating the town of Woodward. These EF5 twisters, the strongest on record in Oklahoma history, claimed over 100 lives each and leveled entire neighborhoods. The town of Moore, Oklahoma has been particularly unlucky. It has been struck by multiple powerful tornadoes, including an EF5 in 1999 and another in 2013. Such disasters left a permanent scar on the collective memory of the region. 
recent Oklahoma tornadoes. Moving to recent events, on the late evening of April 27th, a large, violent EF3 tornado struck Sulphur, Oklahoma. This was part of a broader outbreak from April 25th to 28th. With winds estimated at 165 miles per hour, this tornado caused extensive damage, resulting in one fatality, 30 injuries, and over $7 million in damages. This event alone prompted the issuance of five tornado warnings and three particularly dangerous situation warnings, signaling the severity of the situation. The outbreak was widespread, producing at least 33 tornadoes, with 30 occurring in Oklahoma itself. The National Weather Service confirmed multiple large intense tornadoes in southern and eastern parts of the state, causing significant damage and prompting new warnings for towns including Ardmore, Holdenville, Marietta, and Okema. Only days later, another devastating EF4 tornado blasted through Barnsdall and Bartlesville in Oklahoma. On May 6th, a slower-moving weather system brought severe thunderstorms and the threat of tornadoes across the central United States. Oklahoma, particularly the central and north-central regions, faced a particularly high risk. The storms began in the afternoon with strong winds and heavy rain. But as evening approached, the situation escalated. A powerful supercell thunderstorm spawned a violent tornado near Hominy, Oklahoma. This tornado caused significant damage as it moved northeast, striking the towns of Barnsdall and Bartlesville particularly hard. This powerful tornado was classified as an EF4 on the Enhanced Fujita scale, meaning it produced winds between 165 and 200 miles per hour. These winds are capable of causing catastrophic damage. These communities faced the brunt of the storm's fury. Homes were destroyed, trees were uprooted, and power lines came down. Emergency crews scrambled to assess the damage and rescue those in need. The aftermath of the tornadoes was devastating. Sadly, there were reports of a few fatalities. Many people were left homeless and communities faced a long road to recovery. Throughout this ordeal, the strength and resilience of the Oklahoma community have shone brightly. People helped each other with cleanup efforts. Volunteers poured in from surrounding areas to offer support and local businesses offered resources and assistance. This outpouring of compassion and support is a testament to the spirit of Oklahoma. The May 6th tornado served as a harsh reminder of the importance of preparedness. Thankfully, timely warnings likely prevented further casualties. However, the damage highlights the need for continued investment in strong storm shelters and robust communication systems in tornado-prone areas. What to do in case of a tornado? This event serves as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the importance of being prepared for severe weather. Let's now learn how to stay safe before, during, and after a tornado. Preparing before the storm. For those who live in a tornado country, preparedness is key. Knowing the warning signs, a low-lying rotating cloud, a sudden drop in pressure, the eerie calm before the storm can mean the difference between life and death. While tornadoes can be unpredictable, there are steps you can take to be prepared and increase your chances of staying safe. Here are some key actions to implement before a storm hits. Know your tornado risk. Familiarize yourself with your community's tornado warning systems. Many areas have tornado sirens or utilize emergency alert systems on phones. Develop a plan. Discuss a family tornado plan with everyone in your household. This should include a designated safe shelter location escape routes, and communication strategies. Prepare a tornado shelter. The lowest level of your home, preferably an interior room like a basement or bathroom without windows, is the safest place to be during a tornado. Consider fortifying your shelter with sturdy furniture or a workbench to provide additional protection from falling debris. Assemble a tornado preparedness kit. This kit should include non-perishable food, water, a first aid kit, sanitation supplies, medications, a battery-powered radio, a flashlight, and extra batteries. Stay informed. Monitor weather forecasts and warnings closely, especially during severe weather seasons. Local news outlets, the National Weather Service, and emergency management agencies are excellent sources of real-time weather information. Tornado safety, taking action during a tornado. If a tornado warning is issued in your area, it's time to take action. Seek shelter immediately. Don't wait until you see a tornado. Head to your designated safe shelter and, and crouch low to the ground, covering your head and neck with your arms. Stay away from windows. 
Windows are a danger zone during a tornado. Flying debris can easily shatter glass and cause injuries. If you're caught outside, find a low-lying ditch or depression and lay flat on your stomach, covering your head and neck. Tornado safety, recovering after the storm. Once the storm passes, stay calm and assess the situation. Here's how you can contribute to the recovery. Stay away from downed power lines and damaged buildings. These areas pose a serious safety hazard. Check on your neighbors, especially those who may need extra assistance, like the elderly or families with young children. Report any injuries. If you or someone you know is injured, call 911 immediately. Listen to official instructions. Emergency officials will provide guidance on the recovery process. Thanks for watching this video on the recent Oklahoma tornado and how to deal with such disasters. Share this video with your friends and family to spread awareness about tornado safety. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting geography-related content.